Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, Mr. Announcer, sir. Well, well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977, episode 266, the final wrestling event center of 2022, going into 2023, the final AEW Rampage of 2022, going into 2023. What's going on, everybody? That's right, we are less... Then, 11 and a half, 12, 12 hours away from, less than 11, uh, 11 hours away, uh, yeah, a little bit over 11 hours away from 2023. As you know, we're approaching the final month, and uh, not final month, the final day of 2022. Thank God 2022 is just about over. Man, oh man, we're, and, but it is yucky out there, though. You know, I don't think anybody would want to celebrate. Go out there and celebrate, see fireworks and all that. It's rainy out there. Ew. But at least it's better than the uh, the white stuff, if you know what I mean. So, uh, so it kicked off with the All Atlantic Championship matchup: uh, Trent, uh, Orange Cassidy defending against Trent Beretta. And uh, and it was like a heck of a match. You know, this is funny. I'm gonna tell you a little funny story. I did talk about this last night. I interacted with Kip Sabian, who. Uh, was trying to challenge for the championship. Who has got a little beef with uh, Orange Cassidy? So it was funny. Chris Statlander said, "Hey, uh, my knees are falling apart. My friends are falling apart. What the heck is going on?" And Ari Davari said, "They say it's your fault." I said, "Nah, nah, nah. You know, nah. I think everybody's trying. You know, I think the uh, reason why Orange Cassidy decided to accept." Trent Beretta's challenge is to play mind games with Kip Sabian or make him jump through hoops to get a title shot. Kip Sabian responded to my to my tweet, who does play mind games with who? It's like, now you think, and I said, you know what, now that you meant, think about it, Orange Cassidy has the ultimate poker face, so I think it's him. He goes, you know, I you know, I forget what he says. I'm going to try to uh, pull it out, because I think it was, it was a very unique... Uh, Unique interaction, you know what I mean? So, and uh, yeah. so, anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, and uh, and. Uh, Let's see. I gotta, uh, gotta find that. You know, I'm glad that Kip Sabian decided to uh, interact. Uh, you know, we think I think it's pretty cool that you know he decided to uh, interact with me. And I thought, you know, I'm trying to find it. So, anyways, and yep, 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 yep. yep, yep. Okay, never mind. Okay, um, let's see. Anyways, uh, oh. okay. Anyways, let's 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 um, let's check out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I want to tell you how the uh, the interaction went because I think it's hilarious. He goes. So, anyways, so here's here's how it started. Here, here's how it started. Uh, my knees fell apart, and so are my friends. What's going on? This is Chris Statlander, and then Ari Devari says, "I heard they blamed you." I said wrong. I think this I think this is to play mind games with the Kip Sabian or make him jump through hoops. And then Kip Sabian asked me, who's really playing mind games with whom? He's doing the little thinking. You know, I said, Well, Orange Cassidy has the ultimate poker face in wrestling, so I think it's him. He goes, Of course, how could you be so wrong? My sincere apologies. He goes, I said, It's all good. You're due to hold a championship in AEW. Ah, something we can agree on. He responded with a Christian Bale nodding his head. I responded back with a snoo dog nodding at the head. So I think it's really, really cool. So I think I want to give a shout out to Kip Sabian for that, for that man. And, and he's the luckiest dude. He's married to Penelope Ford. So I think you know only be a matter of time. So, but that match is going to happen um, since uh, 
I meant to say, uh, since the All-Atlantic title, Orange Cassidy retains. Kip Sabian's doing, um, doing a little goofy around. He's hooked on some local dude. Didn't catch the guy's name, but Kip Sabian's mimicking uh, Orange Cassidy playing mind games and ends up picking up the victory. I told you money interviews Sting and Darby Allen from uh, from Wednesday. And Darby Allen was, was sick and tired of Samoa Joe. Sting was, was pep talking to him, motivating him, basically. Darby Allen goes, I'm going to go out there and do the thing. Lexi Nair interviews Preston Vance and Jose. Uh, don't know what, because I was trying to interact with my friend Jordy Scow during that time. And Tony Schiavone interviewed John Moxley. Moxley's got something to say about ha- Hangman Adam Page. Those two guys are going to collide. And then Jeff Jarrett, Jay Lethal, Sanjay Jett, and Satner Singh. Oh, I like to call him Team Slapnut. Uh, team Slapnuts uh, of kind of promo they claim that the claim will defend the tag team titles against Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal this coming Wednesday. TBS title on the line, Jay Cargill um, going up against uh, Kiera Hogan. And there was a point during the matchup where Layla Gray was holding Ke- uh, Kiera Hogan. Jay Cargill's about to slap her, and Red Velvet s- stopped, stopped him. So, stopped her. But Cargill did retain the title. Dissension going on between Velvet and Cargill. I think uh, me only Layla Gray could be the only baddie left once all is done. Layla Gray's pretty hot, I don't admit. But Luke Curtis, you're a lucky dude. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Jamie Hayter did cut a promo as women's champion. And as you know, Soraya is going to have a partner. January 11th, Soraya and a partner of her choice will meet. Um, uh, will meet uh, the AEW Women's Champ Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker. So, it'll be very interesting. And Lexi Niamber interviews Smart Mark Sterling, Tony Nese, and Josh Woods. That's going to be something. And then the main event as Mark Henry interviewed Buckville Combat Club and the Mogul Associates and Squirt Strickland, Parker Boudreaux, and whoever that tattooed face guy is. Don't know who, don't, don't know the guy's name. But it'll be uh, basically it's Wheeler, Wheeler, Wheeler Yuta versus Swerve Strickland. And Strickland did pick up the victory over, um, over Wheeler, Utah. And uh, that could put him in line for a pure title matchup against him. So that is going to be a heck of a... Okay. I, I don't know who the local dude that Kip Sabian fought. Hopefully people in the comments will tell me. Also, if you, if you know who the person that Kip Sabian fought, please tell me in the comments. And who that tattooed face guy with the dreads is... Somebody tell me who that guy is, because that guy's a monster, too. And him and Parker Boudreaux watching Swerve Strickland's back, I really, you know, I'm just really intrigued by who the guy is, you know. So, so I got, let's see. So, I got to set everything up, because we are talking about, man, the final event center for 2022. Um, I'm glad you guys... Um, I originally, this was my original idea because I always talk to a guy at work um, that wants to know what's going on in wrestling because he usually, you know, he doesn't have much to, to go on back in the day. So, and that encouraged me to say, hey, I can start writing stuff down. So, I can go ahead, just in case I forget, I'll have it memorized. But then uh, my good buddy Brandon Scruggs goes, it's a good thing you're doing this because so I will know what's going on. And I'm appreciative of that too. Got a little support. I got a lot of positive feedback on my channel, even though. Um, so, for, for my new channel. So, I'm really excited where 2022 is going to go for Eric Lehman shenanigans of 1977, the channel. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I'm um, hoping to get drama and troll free. Uh, I encourage everyone to subscribe to the channel. Uh, ring the bell for notifications. If you like this video, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You know, but, you know, sometimes, yeah. I mean, it's not... My videos are not, you know, 100% glamorous and fun, you know, Hollywood-like. But I'm, I'm just I'm just being real, just having fun, you know. But I want to be real, but at the same time, I want to have fun. I want to have fun and interact and just uh, sometimes show respect to others. But sometimes there's some people out there, like I said, it's uh, can be a little nutty. So sometimes you have to go, okay, that's enough, you know. So... And sometimes, you know, you know, you don't want to associate yourself with them. Unfortunately, that's the problem. Sometimes, you know, we'll say, okay, I think we need some space here. So, all right, on the next episode of Eric Lehman, on the final Saturday Superstar King, not only 2022, but of the channel, because, like I said, starting next week, um, starting the new year, will be Saturday Shenanigan Cade. 
And that's what I'm going to call it. You know, um, my good friend Luke Jeffers decided to take the Saturday Superstar K. He said, you know what? I'm going to let you have that title of Saturday Superstar K. I was planning on changing it when I first started this new channel back in September. But couldn't come up with the title at the time. But now I do. So it'll be Saturday Shenanigan Cade next week. But today will be the final Saturday Superstar Cade of 2022. So that's all the time we have on the show for AEW Rampage New Year's Smash 2022 Event Center. Until the next episode comes around, Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E do it for Bob Saget Production and in association with a sweet both of raving dingleberry telepictures and distribution. Thank you for watching today's episode of the show. See you on the next episode of the show. Goodbye for now and have a very blessed day.